You know what's been puzzling me lately? Is it that big puzzle on the table right in front of you? No, it's puzzling how incapable you are of just going along with a bit. Okay, you're right, I'm sorry. What's been puzzling you lately? Well, it was. It was the puzzle right in front of me, but you ruined it, so now I don't even, I don't even want to do it anymore. Hello all, I'm Josh. This is Josh. Build stuff and I know what you're thinking, but let me stop you right there. You may be saying, Josh, that ain't no Lego set in front of you, but the channel's called Josh Builds Stuff, not Josh Builds Lego. It's just that up till this point, we have only ever built Lego. But I also really enjoy building other stuff, not, uh, not excluding home renovations, but I don't think those would be as interesting to talk about on this channel, but something I also really do like are jigsaw puzzles. I just, like, like Lego, I don't have a lot of time or space to dedicate to jigsaw puzzles. These things take up a lot of room, but I bet there is a lot of overlap between people who like Lego and people who like jigsaw puzzles. After all, a puzzle is really just a big Lego set, except it's made out of cardboard and there are no instructions and it's slightly more frustrating. But personally, I find jigsaw puzzles to be relaxing, like uh, they're you're fun, you can build them, you can zone out, listen to something, watch something, just listen and talk to yourself while you while you do it. Uh, but I like jigsaw puzzles. I think a lot of people might like jigsaw puzzles. Let me know in the comments down below if you like jigsaw puzzles. But before we review all of the excellent features and details of this set, not a set of this puzzle, we first have to talk about the build process. And we're not, we're not actually going to talk about, we're not going to review a puzzle in for real. But I do want to talk about the build process, I guess. I really just want an excuse to show a speed build of this puzzle. So let's do that right now. The build for this puzzle was actually a lot of fun as far as puzzles go. It was not very difficult because with almost any piece that you pick up you can tell where it's supposed to go on the puzzle, you can tell which direction it's supposed to face, and really you're just assembling a bunch of minifigures out of puzzle pieces the entire time. So overall it's, it's a lot of fun, it's not too difficult, and I would recommend this puzzle if you even think you might like doing a puzzle. I'm being genuine here, if you like Lego, if you even think you might like puzzles a little bit, this is a, a nice puzzle to start with. It is pretty easy to put together. I am, I am actually reviewing a puzzle here. Look at me. I, like I said before, I actually do really like puzzles. I don't have time to build them, but Lego is collaborating with this other company to make puzzles. There's this one, it's a bunch of minifigure heads, that looks much more frustrating. This one was nice, it's the same company. I've also got, uh, this is another thousand piece puzzle. This is just a colorful puzzle that's not made by the same Lego people. I also just picked up this 2000 piece Star Wars Death Star puzzle. It's got like a bunch of hidden details and stuff in it. It actually looks like a lot of fun, but where the heck am I going to find the time and space to build a 2000 piece huh, space because Star Wars, the time and space to build a 2000 piece puzzle. The answer is I'm, I'm not going to find that time nor the space, but maybe someday we'll build that old thing. If you're asking if this puzzle is worth the money, well, let's think about this like a Lego set. Often people are like, oh, you get eight to 10 cents per Lego piece to get to the final price of the Lego set. And that's considered a reasonable price. Well, I can do you much better on this uh, puzzle because this puzzle is thousand pieces only cost 10 bucks one cent per uh per piece to put together this puzzle a thousand pieces only one cent per piece that's the best lego deal i've ever heard granted it's not a, a lego set but you know what i'm saying anyway also i mentioned that there are a couple of lego themed puzzles on the market right now this is another one there made by a company called chronicle books i believe there is also at the time of making this video there is a contest on lego ideas where you can submit an image that could be turned into an actual puzzle and much like other lego ideas things you get a bunch of goodies as a prize and i think you get one percent of the sales uh from the puzzle ten dollars a piece that's like Calculator's going a little crazy here. That's one. You get uh, one. That's not right. That comes out to 10 cents per puzzle sold. That's pretty good money if you add all that up. So I have done it. I have legitimately reviewed a puzzle here on our Lego YouTube channel. There are Lego pieces on the puzzle, so it all kind of works out. Doesn't matter. It's my channel. I can do whatever I want. Let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comments down below. And for greater context, if someone happens to watch this down the road, uh, this is between the June and August Lego lull in 2021, where there's no new sets really coming out right now. So I'm um, kind, of in a, kind of in a holding pattern unless I decide to order some stuff overseas, which I might still do. We will see. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.
It's a puzzle. 